how I <clears throat> it's how I always start out. Hmm. You guys ready to go? <laughs> oh, how is everyone doing on this Monday night? I am so happy that you're here. Let's see, Leah, Pamela, uh, Carolyn, and AJ. You guys are ready to draw with me. Take on this uh, this boat. As you can see, I've already uh, convert. I converted it to black and white because I think value value is going to have a big play in what we're going to do tonight. And I thought that would make it a little bit easier if I converted it all to black and white. In fact, you know, every color has a value. <laughs> Let's do this. It's right. Let's do this. So uh, let me first. Uh, my name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws, and this is our Monday Night Live. I come to you every Monday night and we draw a landscape or a seascape or something outdoors usually. And we also have another class on Wednesday nights where we focus on portrait drawing. But Monday nights, this is where you could find me. And I am so glad of everyone who is here. This is gonna be a challenge tonight. It's gonna be a challenge. But I think that I can show you some tricks or some guidance that will really help you so you must promise me a couple things are you ready <laughs> i want you to get out of your mind you're not drawing boats just remove that you're not drawing boats okay that's the first thing thing is if you think you're drawing boats then you're going to have a preconceived idea of what a boat will look like and that's going to uh, possibly make it a little bit harder so just Remove that, you're not drawing boats, okay? The next thing is, you must trust what you see and not what you think, okay? Trust what you see and not what you think. And if you can remember those two things, I think we are gonna get along just fine with this drawing tonight. So, let's jump into this, okay? Everyone ready to go? All right, so, <clears throat> When you are drawing a curve, a curve is, is so much harder to draw than a square, okay? So let's, let's just go over a couple things, all right? So first thing, I want, I want you in, in the border of your paper, I just want you to draw a rectangle, okay? Just draw a rectangle. And uh, the way that you find the center of a rectangle is that you would put an X in it, all right? So there's that establishes the center of a rectangle. To find the center line of a rectangle, you would simply take one side like this and guesstimate where the halfway point is. And on the other side, you could do the same. Take this distance and just estimate where the halfway point is. And then you can connect these two and they hopefully will run right down the center. All right, so I want you to I want you to remember that as we draw tonight, okay? Next thing, what you could do is also you could take this rectangle and you could put it in perspective, something like that. Try that, will ya? Now that, that rectangle is in perspective. We know it's in perspective because this is fanning out or it's, it's headed to the same vanishing point. Hey! Tania, Tania, is that right? Hello from Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Welcome. <laughs> so look, you could you could draw this this rectangle and uh, and forgive me, Tania, if I uh, if I mispronounce your name. Um, you could draw this rectangle in perspective, okay? And uh, you could use the same principle. Let's find the center of it. So let's. Just kind of cross over here, just like that. Okay, look, that is the center of this rectangle in perspective. All right, let's do, let's find the halfway point. All right, so between here and here, find the halfway point like that. Between here and here, Taina, Taina, Taina. Okay, great, thank you so much. My apology on that. Taina, okay, I love that. All right, so here's, on this back end here, same thing, find the halfway point, just like that. And now you can 
you can connect this to. You see that? And and you so you could you can actually use this method to find the center and these lines on any anything going in perspective, okay? Any triangle going back. So we're going to use this to really get our boat correct, all right? So as we draw this picture tonight, we're going to start off slow because we're going to put a lot of measurements in place. And then as we get further along, we will be able to speed up just a bit, okay? So we've got an hour, and we're going to take our time and really try and get our drawing accurate, okay? So let's do that. Remember this simple idea here. All right, we'll clear that off. So when we do approach this boat, now this is the hard thing. The boat is going back in perspective, but it's on a tilt. So let me show you first what we're going to do and how we're going to address this. And then, and then we'll actually do it. All right. Hey, Leanna is here. All right, look. There's, a, there's the, the, the uh, corner point there, okay? Here is the back end, just like that, all right? Don't draw right now, just watch, okay? This, that's going back in perspective, all right? And that is going back in perspective. Then we're going to draw something like this. Just watch, we're gonna do this slowly. I'm just showing you how we're going to approach this tonight. Then we're gonna draw like this. Now. Now we've established that's that will be the hardest point to get. If you get that angle right, then you're going to be in business, okay? Because the next thing what we'll do is you'll then you'll determine okay where is the halfway point? Well, it's going to we already know the bow of the boat is going to be right there. Here is the back end, so we're gonna we're gonna make a line like that. We're gonna come in here like this. And this, this is how we will use to get our boat at the right angle and to curve everything, okay? So just remember that. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna, if you don't tell anyone, we'll, we're gonna leave that there just as a light guide so that you can, that will help your, that will help get your lines totally accurate as we attempt to draw this boat at the right angle. All right, so let's go ahead and do that now. Let's start off with these two outs. Let's let's do this first. I'm going to start with a border, so I kind of have some some idea of where I'm going with this. Okay. Then I'm just gonna all I'm gonna do right now is try and match this that line that angle right just like that okay i'm going to match that angle then i'm going to match the other angle and i'm going to try and get this as accurate as possible this is going to make all the difference so Take your time with this. Take your time getting it right. Okay, we've got to determine now where where this corner point is. Okay, that's what we're going to determine. So let's take a look at this. Look look at the distance between the side of our picture and our angle right there. You see that? Okay, so let's let's try and figure that out. So if I'm if this is the side of my picture here. I'm going to come maybe around right about there, okay? I'm going to do something different here in my picture, so hold on here. 
While you get that figured out, I'm going to do something here. Okay, so there I am. Now, already I see a mistake that I've made is that this corner, though it's the right distance from the side, it's too low on the page. So I'm just going to move my picture up just a little bit. Oops. And if you have to on your own picture, just adjust adjust it, then, then do it. Take the time and get these very early stages right, okay? Cuz once we get this once we get this established, it's going to make life so much more easier, okay? Okay, next. Let's come down here and figure out where this one is there. Okay? So, we could you could just kind of judge this distance right along that line. So let's do that, okay? So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go right about there, I think. That's that's my mark. Uh, might be a little bit shorter, right about there. Okay? Question mark. Pamela, why do you have a question mark? <laughs> what did I... If you type in your question, I can... Slow down a review, which would be no problem, because that's, we're like the Marines. We leave no one behind. <laughs> okay? All right. Now, let's come up here. Let's get that front end of that angle, just like that. not sure what you're doing just trust me just follow along with me on this okay we're 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 creating a guide here we're creating a guide if you look back at this picture here let's see now where am i oops let me uh See this? We are creating this guide, Pamela. And this is going to help us get the angle. This is going to help us get the angle of this boat correctly. All right? That's all we're working on right now. Hey, Frida, how are you? All right, let's get the back end here. It's going to be going in the same direction, just like that. Yeah, this is the top of the boat. It's it's leaning towards us here. All right, let's go ahead and find the center of it. nice and slow okay between these two points right here let's just find the center and you can just guesstimate it your your mind is very good at finding the center of things and then the same thing with the back end here we'll find the center between these two marks So to show you on our drawing where where these different things lie that I'm marking, look at this here. Let's see here now. Oh, 
Hold on here. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got our center point here. Oops, wrong level. There we go. We've got our center point there. You see that? We've got this marking, all right? We've got this marking up on top there. We've got this in the back, center. So those, those green little dots are what are corresponding to the picture on the left. This gives us a great framework to start to outline this boat. Okay, let's get the center part. Let's bring the center of the part of the boat down. It's going to be something like this. <clears throat> and then let's let's get this. Let's get the other center part of the square here. So between this and this, it's going to be about there. Okay, between this and this. It's going to be about there. We're going to have a slow start and then we'll get going. Hey, Barbara, how are you? Okay. Let's go ahead and start drawing this boat out here. What do you say? So watch what I do first. And then I want you to follow, okay? So the top part of this boat is going to come around like this. And then the back end is going to come around like this. Just follow the guide. Hey Joe, good morning. How's Tuesday look for us? <laughs> is it it is is Tuesday worth waking up to? <laughs> All right. All right, so we've got we've got the right angle here. We got the right angle of our boat. Let's get this let's get this top part section in here up here, okay? So I'm just looking at the shape now. I'm gonna come around. Something like that. It's lovely. Okay. All right. Sounds good. I'll I'll set my alarm and get my coffee ready for tomorrow. Right. <laughs> All right. The bottom the bottom part of this boat is flat because it's sitting in water. All right, so it's, it's really going to come around like this. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that away because we've got the basic, this is, that was probably the hardest part of getting the right angle there. All right, let's add some thickness to our, the top of our boat here. And I'm just going to 
very lightly come around get the thickness there I think and then they have these orlocks that's what they were called We've got some orlocks right there you see that and there's and they're at the center so we can we could just kind of indicate that we know where those are and then there's a slight curve of a board can you see it I'll show it to you and I'm at this point I'm going to follow my guides I'm not going to follow the picture per se because I want to make sure my I want to make sure my boat stays consistent with the framework that I set up for it Right, you have that back seat there. And then you have another another board that's coming across like this. Pamela, how are you doing over there? Is it getting the idea where we're going with this? All right, I'm going to keep going here. I'm going to. I got this this box shape that's coming out like this. And it looks like they've got an oar coming back here. It has a little bit of a round edge to it. And then the back of the boat, it has this board that's standing up. You see this? I think that's the bow. And in the front, I have this board that's kind of coming up there like that. All right, let's move on to our next boat. I'm going to leave the details and come back and hit the details a little bit later. But let's get the bow, and I'm going to start. The bow is going to be right about there. All right, so let me show you how I'm going to draw this guy back here. I'm going to look. I'm going to look to the bow. Oops, did I have a new layer? There you go. All right, I'm going to look to this bow right there. And then I'm going to determine where that point is right there. You see that? And it's almost, look, if I if I draw a straight line, look, they are almost are lined up exactly horizontal with each other. So let's see, what, now, if, if this dot, if I use a vertical line of measurement... It's just on the outside. So, okay, that's a 
that's a good location for that. Let me see where I could find what this the, that little dot is lining up with. And if I go straight down, oh, look at that. It goes right through the oar lock of the other boat. Okay, that's a, that's a real good measuring point. So I'm going to come up right about... I'm going to come up right about there. In fact, I'm going to push these up just a little bit more. Okay. All right, so back to this guy. I'm going to push him up a little bit more, that front one there. And I know that this back, the back bow part of the boat is lining up right about there, okay? Okay, let's go ahead and, and draw those. So I'm going to come in here with a slight angle. You see where this cuts down right there? I'm just going to do that, right? Just like that. And look at this angle right there. You see that angle? I want to I want to do that. Okay. Connect those like that. This is going to be into the water's edge, so we'll just leave that like that. Okay, so that's the outline of my other boat. Let's let's get the last one in now. Okay, so let's find the bow and let me just see where I'm at here. Okay, so there's my bow. And here's the back end of the boat right there. And here's the back end of the other side. You see that? All right, so this boat is sitting like flat in the water. So this is nice that these two are going to be very horizontal to one another. Let's see where this... Let's see if this lines up with anything with a vert. Okay, look at that. It's just right off the center of that boat there. Okay, that's a great measuring point. And if I drop a line straight down from here, okay, that's just off the edge there. Okay, I think I can manage that. So let's let's try and put that on our page as well. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to Put the center of my boat right there and the center the back corner of the boat is going to be right about there i think everything relates to one another and the far back end over here is going to be about there I'm just kind of estimating here, okay? And you can make adjustments. So that's about the back end there. Okay, and I'm going to look at this. This is my next line I'm going to draw. Look at this. It's like a it's like a hook. Like a fish hook almost. You see that? Let 
Let's draw that. Just like a fish hook. How about the other side? Other side is similar. Look at that. Alright, let's get that in as well. to remove this now because I don't think we need it. We've got plenty of guidance here now. All right, we got that that in the bow of that boat. We got that plate. Do you see that? Flat right there. We've got that edge, that edge, our bow is going to come straight down a little bit, Curve it, curve it on the hole over here. You might have a slight curve over here. And then you're going to get right where it goes in the water. So much of drawing is finding like key points and then just building off of those key points. Get your first object in perspective, get it very clear, and then you can go on from there. You start measuring things off of other things. Let's continue on. Let's start working with some of these boats in the back. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of determine how far back they go. And let me show you how I'm going to do that. So let's let's see here. Let's do this. Let's clear that. So what I'm what I'm looking for is really like this negative shape. Look at this. All right, that's that's what I'm kind of aiming for in the back of my mind. So if I look at that, it's going to be right about here, I think, in my picture. Maybe a little bit more narrower. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of use that as a guide. And I'm, I'm going to think of these, all these boats in the back here. I'm going to think of all these boats as one mass, one, one thing going on, okay? So let's start with, I'm going to start with this guy. Let's see, where, what layer am I on? Okay, that's good. I'm going to start with this guy right there, okay? He's center. He's like, he's what I'm going to cause everything to go behind, to grow behind. So I'm just, all I'm going to do is just kind of draw, draw a small silhouette.
And I've got this other guy on the far end there. Just Ooh, what was I thinking? All right, there you go. Better. And I can see behind him there's another boat that's behind this guy here. We'll come back. We'll come back, add more detail in a little bit. Just trying to get these. I'm not thinking boat here, I'm just thinking shape. Just thinking shape. Well, guess what? Once you get those in, that is the hardest part. <laughs> we started with the hardest, got a little bit easier, easier easier <laughs> so if you were here at the beginning and got to this point man you are you've done really well all right let's go ahead and go back into this now and, and start adding some value okay so first thing we're going to do is is add value to these back boats back here and I'm just they're all in shadow so very carefully I'm gonna try and add a singular value they also have they have some reflection in the water oh good AJ I'm glad you enjoyed that All right, so now we're going to just very, very lightly, I'm going to start erasing some of these earlier measurement marks I have, okay? All right, so all we're going to do is just lightly add value. Look at, now this is going in perspective, believe it or not. This uh, even tone. And look closely now. Look at this. There's like a dual shadow going on. You see that? You've got to really trust what you see and not what you think. Trust what you see, not what you think. This is my first pass of value.
And even all these guys have a gray value in them. And also this whole bit of water here has a a slight value in it. Okay, let's let's go back in and add some dark darks now so wherever you see the darkest I mean wherever you see the darkest it has to be super dark drop that in I, it's, just avoid the water for right now that's all I would say we'll come back and address the water in just a second Take your time, go slowly. Go slowly. <clears throat> Go slowly. <clears throat> no rush. Look at this. I, I'm a little bit off on mine on the right hand side here, but that's okay. I'm, I'm just going to kind of own my mistakes. Or I'm going to erase this just a little bit. There. That's a better curve. Okay, look at this. Look at these. Let's get these. Uh, I'm going to get these dark shadows underneath my boat that's in the water. So in this case, I'm going to follow the shape. I'm going to trust what I see and not what I think. Same thing in the back here. Now this, this has a not quite as a sharp edge.
All right. <clears throat> All right, let's get that secondary shadow that's in the uh, water here. And I'm just going to outline it first because it's really cool looking, but it has a very sharp edge to it. Trust what you see. All right, let's get that tone in here so it's very even. Wait, it looks weird, but you just got to get comfortable with the weirdness of this. Then we have the shadow on the other side. Again, that's also a pretty hard light, pretty hard edge there. I'm going to I'm going to work in this on the inside part of my boat here. And as I'm doing this now, I'm I'm really thinking only of shape. Shape and value. And it doesn't have to look exactly like the picture because you've got the, as long as we get the initial, as long as you got the initial perspective down, no one will ever remember what the picture looks like. We have a 
We have a great Facebook group that I would recommend if you're watching and you're wanting some more company and help when you draw. Or we even have a great class called the Daily Draw, where we get together every day for about a half an hour, and I help you. And it's of incredible value. And all those links are in the description. Do please and like the video. That would be awesome. And leave a comment if you want. No, I'll change my mind. Leave a comment even if you don't want to. <laughs> right? That's what you got to do. <laughs> leave a comment even if you don't want to. And you could even say, boy, I hate boats. <laughs> If Kurt ever makes us draw another boat again, I'm going to kill him. So all I'm doing here in the background is now I'm, once again, I'm just using shape. Shape and value. Good. I'm glad you, you enjoyed yourself, AJ. It's supposed to be kind of fun. <clears throat> All right, we are two minutes out. Does anyone have any questions? That was a very difficult beginning, but I think we got through it okay. There are some little uh, ripples in the water. You can definitely add those if you want. But uh, there you go. Okay, Carolyn, glad you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, everybody. <laughs> uh, any last questions before we call it a day? Because, you know what, an hour of drawing is, that is that's plenty, okay? Y'all earned some dessert tonight. Or if it's in the morning, like Joe, what do you, 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 or, you, you earned yourself a sweet roll, Joe. <laughs> what do they, what do they have down there, down there in the in? I think it was New Zealand or Australia. You live. Uh, what, what kind of breakfast foods do they eat that are sweet tasting? Because you truly deserve it after a drawing like this. <laughs> hmm. Tahina, how did you do tonight? Did you do okay from Bro Brooklyn, Tina? Tahina from Brooklyn. I got a story about standing in Brooklyn Heights, but we'll have to tell you that another day. <laughs> All right. Hey, listen, my name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Yeah, jump in our Facebook group. Post your picture. Let me know how you did. And that's it. That's what I got for you. Australia. And I do not like boats. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Make sure you have a friend who has a boat and make sure you, no, no, make sure your friend has a pool and your dad has a boat, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you guys later on, okay? Ch tune in on Wednesday night for our uh, portrait class, okay? My name is Kurt. I'm a dad who draws. Have a great evening or a morning or a day. See y'all later. Bye-bye.